Nick from Patrick's here, and today I'm going over the Triptych, which is a new module from SSF and the first module from BII. And it's a collaboration, which means BII is a new company that is uh, essentially from Boys Noise and Basics. So I think that should give you a little hint of what the Triptych has in store. If you listen to any of their stuff, I'm very much influenced by it. It's some high action, very distorted, some acid electro techno stuff that the sound of that growly acid bass is super important and the triptych's gonna get you there. So why is it called the triptych? Triptych is a kind of a middle ages art term where there are three panels, uh, sometimes carving kind of relief panels above the altar. Uh, if you, you probably have seen a triptych before, but essentially there are three elements and the triptych has, guess what? Three different elements. It has a 12 dB filter that could be either low pass, high pass, or band pass. Very self-resonant, so our resonance is gonna be very important here. We have a distortion unit uh, with two different types of folding algorithms, um, toggleable by this switch, and it lights up when it's in one or two. And then the third element, which is super special, is a comb filter, which these three controls do. We have the sweep, which kind of sets the, uh, the frequency of the comb filter. If you haven't seen a comb filter before, Essentially, instead of just having one spot for your cutoff, um, you get this delay line that creates essentially what looks like a comb. The sweep kind of fixes the, those high points on the filter, and the regen is how much that delay line actually feeds back into itself, because at the heart of a comb filter, it is actually just a delay line with feedback. Wet, dry there, because that filter, that comb filter can really start sounding noisy. So if you don't want it, kill it. If you want to mix it in harder, drive it wet. So we have all these great elements, but how do we actually use them, right? Because it sounds like we have three things, but the routing is very important. Why wouldn't I just get three units? Well, this is fully featured and fully routable. Up here, this post pre VCF button allows me to either have that VCF um, at the beginning or the end of processing. So default is at the beginning, then we go into the distortion unit, then the comb filter. If I hit this button, it puts the VCF at the end. And then if I hit this button, it actually swaps the comb filter for the distortion in terms of the signal routing. So we can do essentially, you know, um, filter comb distortion, which is going to be one of the most aggressive settings. Or we could actually do it the opposite, where we go, um, we go distortion into the comb filter into the filter. So it's very routable, very great, lots of sweet spots in here. But I'm just going to do some quick sound demos here to show you its capabilities. Okay. So for this first demo, I'm going to be running plats into the triptych. I'm going to turn all the settings back down on the triptych and just run plats straight into it. So plats out into the input and then output over to here. And we should just hear it drone. So that's just the sound of plats, no processing. We can immediately hear that cutoff, which is, you know, that 12 dB is really nice, especially for some acid bass lines. I'm going to turn up the resonance so we can hear how it Sounds really nice as we close and open it. Let's actually animate it a little bit here. I'm gonna take channel one off of Metron, run it into maths, boom. Put a few trigs here and run that into my cutoff. So it's nice and wet, you know. That's great. So here's another cool thing too. Right now, this is droning on. If we want to use Cryptic as a VCA, we can easily do that. So I'm going to take this, molt it across here, run it into both channels of maths, and we're going to run it into the VCA and filter. So this is my filter in this channel. When I patch to the out, nice which is gonna be really important because when I play with that comb filter, it sustains longer than you expect. So to have that VCA on the output's great, but you could also control from the input, like a standard kind of, you know, rerouting situation. So let's hear that. We're gonna uh, open it up and let's hear this distortion. You could hear immediately, it's really taken over. So this first, oh man, that sounds so good. And I'm gonna, really dirty up the plats a little bit, so it really takes a hold of some of those harmonics. Maybe do. Cool. All right, so 
that's distortion type one. Here's distortion type two. It actually pushes harder, but it actually has less, kind of a more mild sound in my mind. And let's animate this, uh, this sequence too. pretty good. So, let's play around with that comb filter. So once I hit moving it to wet, so now it's actually routing to that comb filter, and you can immediately hear it's giving that kind of a flange sound, you know? Another thing to animate. Very mild when regen's down. Now let's turn up the feedback. And then it's going to start taking over that sound. good. High low, so right now the clocking speed of that uh, delay line's high. We could slow it down and get lower harmonics really coming through. Some things that will shatter your world, you know. And then, so I'm gonna, so right now the, the routing is gonna be the uh, filter going into distortion, going into comb. So let's swap the distortion and comb by hitting this button, and now it's gonna be even more aggressive. So it's just insane how much you could push this unit and we could flip it around if we want to mellow it out. Let's put the VC up at the end and make it less resonant. So now everything is... That VCF uh, is really mellowing out that distortion uh, comb filter combo, which is sweet. All right, so here's the last trick. Let's actually not run anything into it. Like I said before, this is self-resonant, so I'm gonna turn that resonance all the way up, but we're still gonna be gated with our VCA. So this math is now still running in and out, acting as our VCA. Get it nice and low. And uh, let's see here. Cool. So that's like a really kind of sweet techno kick that we got going on there and we can we could really push it. So let's um, reroute the VCF afterwards. Cool, that's rocking. And now, now once we turn up that, that comb filter, look how much we're coloring that sound. Hours of fun on this thing. I love distortion units. I've been really looking for a really great one in Eurorack. The triptych is great because the distortion is awesome, but you do need to have it in combination with something like a filter. But that comb filter is so unique and really sweet that you're gonna find a lot of great uses running whole mixes through this thing, using it as a standalone sound source, just making that acid baseline. So the triptych, the triptych really hits out of the park for me. Um, you know, they just came out today. By the time you see this video, it's ready to order, which we have them in stock ready to go. Like always, make sure you hit us up via email, call, come into the shop. We're happy to answer your questions. Happy